Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. Oh wow, I didn't know you could do this. Okay, so in this episode what we're going to focus in on is Todoist Shortcuts. And basically what Todoist is, is a task management app if you've never heard of it. It's on web, but today uh, it's on web, iOS, Android. But today I'm just going to focus on the web version and how to utilize keyboard functions um, and also formatting functions. Just briefly, I'm not going to do too many. I'm going to go into too much detail. But this will allow you to kind of speed up the process of adding tasks and also formatting tasks, making them look kind of look a bit better than they do normally. So jumping straight in, um, top function of today will be Q. Now, simply hitting Q on your keyboard will bring up the Add Task box. And I'll tell you why this is useful. It's useful for two reasons. Firstly, sometimes you don't want to drag the mice up to the top, um, so it takes up, uh, reduces valuable time. But when you're adding those large amount of tasks and you're kind of like you want to go through and you're like you've just come out of a meeting you've got a book no you've got a full page full of those actions um you can start kind of spamming them in and, and, and actually throwing them in um which is super useful so you can access that by simply pressing q on your keyboard or control q will also get it up but q works uh, perfectly fine next thing i want to show you is s and p and you're probably wondering what s and p are s and p um so I'll just jump into my personal um, brand folder. So these are all the tasks I do for my personal brand. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is, is I'm gonna simply press P. And what P does is when you're in a project or even when you're in your, um, in your today uh, list, you can press P and it will shuffle all the tasks specifically um, so, ooh, okay, I've done that task. It actually referred it later. So it simply shuffles all the tasks into priority order, which is super useful um, because it, you can jump in and actually, you know, go into that and see which ones are the, the things you need to do the most, uh, which is super useful. Then on top of that, you can press S. And what S does is it shuffles it around based on date and when you should be doing each of these tasks. So this kind of just shuffled it around to more of a timeline look of things. So these two, P and S, are pretty useful. Next thing is the slant. Um, and I don't know what the slant stands for. I don't know how you even say it. So this is a slant. Uh, this side, you know, when you put it in a, a website address, um, when you press this, when you get off, when you press this, you can simply, um, instead of having to click up top, you can go search really fast. So if I was like, oh, I need all the tasks about books, and you can simply press that and just type books. Um, and then see all the tasks that are relevant to books. Luckily enough, I've got no tasks relevant to books, which is great. Um, so that one's also useful. Next one is when you're formatting a task. So if I was like, uh, oh, read the new Harry Potter book, if there is one, then what, you know, I say I wanted to highlight read um, as something important. Then I can quickly put two, oh, put two exclamation marks next to it, both sides. When I press add task, that read will come up in bold. So this is how to make things bold on Todoist. And it's useful because obviously I put videos, sometimes I put blog, and it helps me pick things out faster. So that's a nice little formatting tool. Let's say I was in this task and I wanted to make the final or, or a couple of words italic. What I do is put two underscores before and after, and then it basically shuffles it into an italic look, which is really awesome. Um, so you've got bold and italics right there. Super useful for when you're scanning through and you want something to stand out, maybe a little note on the end or making it bold and specific. This one was um, very useful when I um, I do, I don't use it as much, but I should be, um, when I wanna see if I've got to make a video or make a blog and I can jump in and see that from distance. That's really, really useful technology. So they're all the ones I wanted to touch on today. I don't wanna go into too much detail. There are more, there are more, and you can start using them, but, um, I, th I definitely recommend, even if you wanted to play out, and you've, you, I might do another video on this, if you want to play out, you basically go to the cog and then click keyboard shortcuts, and you'll find them all there. Um, but I hope this one was useful, guys. And uh, please do check out any other videos I've got. Um, I do more Todoist videos. Uh, I'm going to do Sunrise, Evernote, more of those kind of stuff, Todoist, uh, yeah, G GTD, all those kind of things. So please do check out my channel if you get the opportunity. I'd love for a uh, for kind of make a more uh, community base around this. Thanks very much, guys, and make sure to have a great week.